Okay, so this is the um, Doctor Strange Sanix model. Uh, I was printing the legs um, and I need to add some support. So uh, I could do quick use Cura, but I prefer the support that's generated in Simplify 3D. So I'm going to select the model, come across and hit the support button. Now the uh, Sanix instructions actually recommend uh, 1.33 for the support with a 50 degree overhang. Okay, so if I go and select normal support uh, and generate, that's what I get. Now the problem with this is these are too small. Okay, and what I found happened was that the it just pulled away from the build plate once it got um, sort of a couple of inch, well a couple of half an inch into it. So that could be my bed adhesion, but um, there's an easy fix, and that was to just increase the uh, millimeter of the supports so as they were slightly thicker um, I did drop the overhang slightly as well so if I generate auto support you can see that makes them thicker and they'll stick a lot better um, support type so normal or from build plate only normal will put support everywhere so in here here you can see in between the legs where there's like an overhang here and build plate only wouldn't so if I do build plate only and generate you can see it doesn't um, I'm going to use normal so it's like that I can add support structures if I need to so if I want to add a support structure I can um, so I could add one there for example or I could remove support that I don't want if you have a look underneath you can see that in the join there's some support I'm happy with that I'll leave that in there that will come straight out without any problems so that's done I'm going to print it and once it's printed, I'll show you how easy it is to um, remove the supports. This is a roughly a 16 hour print. Um, if I preview it, it will say eight, but it will take around 16 hours. I tend to just double the time that Simplify 3D uh, suggests. So let's get this done and I'll come back to you in a second. Okay, so this is um, the legs for Doctor Strange, the STL of Sanex. Um, basically, I want to show you the Simplify 3D support. Now, I've used Cura support before, and I have used Simplify 3D. And without doubt, in my opinion, Simplify 3D support is so much easier to remove. So what I thought we would do is just take a quick look. So obviously this is the model and this is the Simplify 3D support. Just focus in here and you can see here how easy Simplify 3D support is to remove. So you can see there's some in there. Now I haven't got the smallest of fingers you can see it literally just breaks away okay and there's some in here just literally okay, and just need to just pull off all the little bits of support so I generated support everywhere um, overhang of 45 uh, and set the thickness of the actual support to 4 and you can see it just literally pulls off with um, Cura support. I've always found I've had to get some sanding and you know just clean it up quite a lot. And to be honest, I'm actually really impressed with the Simplify 3D. So let's see. So you can see here that it's done some support in here. Now this is where a little block goes, and you can see that it just literally pulls out no real issues there whatsoever so if you are having trouble with your support do think about simplify 3d it does incur a little bit of a cost okay is i think it's about 150 dollars something like that but it is so worth it just for the type of support you get and you can see I've still got a little bit of cleaning up to do, but I'm actually really impressed with that. And obviously once I get 
get everything else printed for him. So I've got to do the cape and the arms. And this is again a model by Sanix. I'll put the link in the description. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a really nice print once it's finished. I will do a bit of post cleanup. But the supports for S3D, absolutely incredible. Give it a go, see what you think. But yeah, really happy with that. 